Hello, welcome to another EPCON training video. Today we will be covering how to draw a basic fluid flow model using Sinet9 powered by Process Innovator. Let's get started. The first thing you'll want to do is drag out a starting node. In this case, we will drag out a tank. Now, in Sinet9, there are two ways to draw a model, the drag and drop method and the speed draw method. To perform the drag and drop method, simply drag out the next node and place it on the canvas. In this case, we will add a junction node. Next, connect the tank to the node with a pipe. To do this, simply click on the tank port and while holding the mouse down, connect it to the top node port and release the mouse. The solid arrow line represents the pipe that was just created. Now, that was pretty quick and easy, but there is even a faster way to draw models. Using the speed draw method makes life so much easier. Simply select the next node that you want to add to the model. In this case, we will add a pump. And then click in the direction that you want to add it. Notice that the pump appeared directly to the right of the node, and a pipe has already connected it to the previous node. This makes it easy to draw complex models in the matter of minutes. Now, by default, each pipe that is created is a six inch standard pipe. To change the default pipe size and type, all you have to do is select the desired parameters from the drop down menus located in the speed draw toolbar. For example, let's change the type to extra extra strong and the size to eight inches. Now when I draw the next pipe, notice that the type and size reads eight inch extra extra strong. Therefore, every pipe I create from now on will read 8 inch extra extra strong. For this example, however, we want all of our pipes to be 6 inch standard. So let's delete the new node and pipe, change the default size and type back to 6 inch standard, and finish drawing the rest of the model using the quick and easy speed draw method. Now that our model is complete, let's cover a few other helpful tools that can be used when drawing more complicated models. The first tool is the proximity switch. Oftentimes, a user may need to create a section that branches out and then comes back to a single pipe or a main header. For example, let's say that instead of one pump, I want to add a second pump to my model that runs parallel to the existing pump. To do this, I can simply click on the node before the pump draw another junction node downward, select the pump, draw it to the right, followed by another junction node. And then finally, all I need to do is hit the up arrow button and it will automatically connect the new pipe to the existing node. Now, it is important to mention that this can only be done with junction nodes since it is the only node that has four ports. The other helpful tool is the tool that allows you to change the destination of a pipe without redrawing the pipe. For example, if I want my outlet node to be a truck instead of a tank, I can simply drag out the truck, then by selecting the pipe where it connects to the tank, I can hold the mouse down, drag it to the truck, and now my pipe no longer connects to the tank, but rather it connects to the truck, thus changing the destination of the pipe. Sinet9 powered by the new Process Innovator helps making models faster and easier like never before.